Bloomsbury Review. My name is Violet Sun and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Legion of Astartes Heavy Weapons Upgrade, specifically the one with heavy bolters and missile launchers. Now this is only kind of half an Onsbury review as this is a bit of an odd upgrade kit rather than a full kit, but I thought you'd still be interested to have a little look at it with me. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start off with taking a look at the box. Now the artwork on the front of this box is a little different to what we usually get for the Horus Heresy in that there's actually no painted miniatures on the front at all. Just these rather nicely drawn versions of the heavy weapons and some kind of uh, blueprint styled versions of the weapons in the background, which I think looks fine. Um, it does make it quite obvious that you're just getting some guns in this box uh, rather than whole miniatures, which I think is actually quite a smart way of doing it. No one's going to be disappointed that they thought they were getting troops when they just end up with sprues of guns. Of course, it does make it clear they're getting 20 weapons and yeah, new horse her heresy logo and details of what you're getting written on the box. It has been previewed that we're going to get some other versions of these heavy weapons, so maybe I'll review those as they come out, uh, but I think a lot of them are going to be in a similar format to this. The back of the box too is, is kind of a bit different to what we usually see. It does show the heavy weapons themselves and a kind of uh, suggested way that you use this conversion kit on, on the new um, Mark VI and it does make it very clear that you don't get the figure, which is very good. Um, no sort of false advertisement on this box at all. Although it does rather oddly show you pictures of the sprues on the outside, which is not something I've seen on the Games Workshop box in a very long time. I think it has happened previously, but um, yeah, it's a little bit odd, uh, but I think it works in this case. So yeah, quite a simple box, but it does make it very clear what you're getting. Uh, so it does the job. Um, I think the art style of the front is quite interesting. I do like the kind of blueprint style, but I think on the back they could have maybe even shown more examples, you know, a squad with the heavy weapons rather than the sprues. But I think in this case, because the, the contents is so different to their normal product, this is uh, quite a good idea, just so people know what you're getting. Well, with that taken a look at, Let's uh, move on to the contents of the box. So as the back of the box quite clearly showed, you do get uh, two sprues of the same heavy weapons, two arm sprues to match that, and some instructions. Uh, pretty simple box contents. Let's take a little look at the instructions to start with. Hmm. Not the most thrilling thing to see at the start of an instruction set, a chart of which arm poses go with which body. Now, I think these are just a recommendation. I'm fairly certain you could make almost any of these arms work with any of the body sets of Space Marines that's ever been produced, really. Um, Space Marine arms and bodies have not really changed that much for a very long time. These will definitely get you the easiest results, but I don't think it's uh, completely set in stone. Though I will say, I think you're going to end up needing to follow these instructions fairly closely um, as obviously you want your arms to match up. Uh, although I do believe the missile launcher is the same in every single missile launcher pose and it's just the arms that change. And there's only a single page on the back explaining how you put your heavy bolters together. Um, I was kind of expecting a little more, but uh, I guess that's all you need. So yeah, some pretty light instructions, but as this is just the guns and the arms uh, and the rest of the model, you would have to follow the instructions for that kit. But I think that's all you really need. Let's move on to kind of the main attraction. These two sprues are identical, so I'm just going to put one to the side and take a deep look at the other. Now, the first thing I notice about this sprue is kind of how irregular it is. There are some repeated parts that are grouped together, such as the kind of actual launcher tube ends on the missile launchers, but the rest seem pretty scattered about. 
which isn't a huge problem, but um, maybe if you're a bits reseller, this is going to become your bane if you want to separate them, separate out the missile launchers and the heavy bolters. The parts are kind of a bit all over the place. And it doesn't really feel like this sprue is overly full, but maybe there's some other very important production reason for this to be done that I, I'm not aware of. I do know that the, the kind of um, flow out from the uh, input ports on the uh, injection molding uh, can be quite a weird art form instead of a science. So I'm not going to naysay this sprue too much. I am, however, going to take a nice look at these missile launchers, which look really nicely detailed. This is a designer missile launcher that's been in the Horus Heresy range for quite a while and harkens back to the original Rogue Trader era uh, RTP-01 kit of Space Marines. Although the crispness of detail on this uh, very, very much surpasses uh, what was possible in the mid-80s. And this our launch is uh, broken down into three main parts. You can have kind of a left and right piece uh, to build the main body and then a little detail piece that sits inside uh, the front, which has some additional sort of targeting details and uh, the actual tube part of the missile launcher. I really like this design. I'm glad that it's kind of stuck around. It does look a little odd um, having a huge magazine of missiles stacked on top, but that's part of the kind of uh, wacky, almost cartoonish nature that uh, Warhammer still has just hidden away in the edges of uh, what's going on. And the other weapon included in this kit, the Heavy Bolter. Uh, a much more sensible design, maybe. Um, I'm not so much a fan of this uh, kind of low-slung heavy weapon rather than the over-shoulder versions, but this is a quite a nice sculpt. The detail's very crisp, and the Heavy Bolters have been built as two parts, so you do get uh, a kind of um, pre-drilled muzzle so you don't have to bother doing that on heavy bolters which can be a little bit difficult because it's quite a large diameter to drill centrally on on this part but uh yeah they've got that that nice beefy look to them um i quite like that they've got an ammo drum although you would think that this large caliber you won't get many shots into a drum like that but yeah then also get a set of arms to use with those weapons and these have been laid out much more regularly and uh, I kind of wish the other sprue was as simple to find you know, all of the part ones, all of the part twos, all the part threes are all together but as I say, it may well be some kind of technical reason that they've been uh, divided up as they have. These have been designed with the same trick as the Mark VI kit has in the arm one and two that are meant to go together have the same little detailing on the uh, forearm. In this case, you've got kind of a line with a box. And then arm three and four, you've got these three uh, kind of vents on each forearm. So even if you don't have your instructions, uh, there is a way of matching up the different arms to make sure that they fit together. You do get a couple of detailing pieces, in this case a kind of a scanner array, which I believe is meant to be for your sergeant. Uh, but you could use this in other places, uh, tank commanders, consoles, there's all kinds of units that could do with you know, a bit more battlefield intelligence tech. Uh, so it's nice to have an extra little bit of detailing in the kit. So yeah, this is a bit of a short one. There's only two sprues and really only a couple of different pieces on any of the sprues to look at. But I think it's a fine upgrade kit if these are the weapons you're looking for for your uh, army to give it a bit more punch. This is definitely the cheapest way to go about giving them uh, these weapons. I will note this is Heavy Weapons Arm Sprue C, kind of implying that there's an A and a B. Uh, but we do already know that there are other boxes of heavy weapons with things like glass cannons, plasma cannons, Volkai, all, all of the fun things are coming in plastic soon. Um, if you're watching this in the future, they may have already been released. 
and in which case there may well already be a review up on my channel for those. If this has been useful, if you could give it a like, that would be much appreciated. And if you're looking for reviews of other Warhammer products, I do have quite a few already on my channel. And subscribing is the quickest way to be informed of all my new releases as they come out. I realise this has been a bit of a short video, but uh, I hope it's been helpful anyway. Thank you very much for watching and happy hobbying.